heck is the Holy Ghost? Ooh. <laughs> Hi, my name is Susie Porter, and I help women rewrite their lives so they can write, create their happily ever after. All my life, I've heard about the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. And today, I just got to thinking, what, what is it? What, what actually is it? And why is it sometimes called a ghost, which is kind of scary, and sometimes called a spirit, which is kind of more mystical, right? So um, I did a little digging, and I, uh, I, I looked into what the Bible talked about the Holy Spirit and what the Course in Miracles said about the Holy Spirit, and they they agree pretty much it was good news when two of my favorite books agree. <laughs> the Holy Spirit, to me, it's not this far off mystical thing that you know you have to go to a seance and look into a crystal ball or you have to be really goody goody don't drink don't smoke don't swear don't commit any sins and then maybe if you're super 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 good like mother Teresa, then the holy spirit will descend upon you like a dove on your shoulder and bless you for your goodness and perfection no i don't think it's any of that i I can't be that right because it just wouldn't make any sense I think the biggest problem for me with religion is that it's always out there. I remember ever since I was a little kid, I would, I would, I remember laying in the field and looking up at the sky and wanting to touch. I'd see all those clouds and I want to touch God. I wanted to touch heaven. I didn't want it to be something way out there. I wanted to feel it, you know, like I could pet my cat. I wanted to feel God. And so as I've been doing all this research, trigger, 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 because I was a very serious Bible college student a long time ago. And a lot of the things that I found were like, um, what is the unforgivable sin and all of this stuff? It just kind of came flooding back to me how much guilt and shame is heaped upon you as you're sitting in church and how it's it gets into your mind and it just makes you feel like you're just never going to be good enough. Right. And you feel guilty. Jesus had to die for me. What the hell? You know, how could I ever be good enough for someone to go through all that? For me, it's just so much emphasis on um, sin and guilt and shame. And I'm (sighs) decades of therapy and meditation and study. I'm so over guilt and shame. I'm telling you, it doesn't mean that I don't have a conscience. It just means that I I think that guilt and shame is made by humans, not by God. And in the, um, what I would, what I would crystallize it down to is that the Holy spirit is anything that emerges from love. And the course in miracles says a miracle isn't really that special. It's the love that inspires the miracle. That is the real miracle. So, I would say, and and the Bible does kind of give you some guidelines to know if you're in the neighborhood of the Holy Spirit, you will feel peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, all those things. It doesn't mean that if you don't have those things, you're a dirty, rotten sinner. (laughs) It just means that these characteristics, this emotional, um, this emotional atmosphere, this this spiritual quality of peace and love and gentleness and kindness and compassion flow from that Holy Spirit. Some poets and writers say that the Holy Spirit is the breath of God. And I will leave you with a very beautiful quote from The Course in Miracles, where Jesus says about the Holy Spirit. He says a lot about the Holy Spirit, but I thought this one was really gorgeous, this verse. Accept your father's gift. It is a call from love to love. See, he says your love, not a dirty, rotten sinner. He says your love. It is a call from love to love that it be but itself. The Holy Spirit is his gift by which the quietness of heaven is restored to God's beloved son or daughter. Same thing. So if it feels like love, it's probably holy. (laughs) And if it feels like misery and all that other stuff, it's probably a result of our thinking that is probably a little misguided.
because we're thinking thoughts of fear and anger and judgment and blame. And that's what makes our misery. So the Holy Spirit is not here to make us feel guilty for our sin. No, 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 no. It is a call from love to love that it be but itself. It's pretty simple. I wish you all the Holy Spirit today. Have a great day. Bless you.